weed. You like GMO? Are you a GMO fan? We have the, the house brand right here. Okay. GMO to me usually smells like BO and stinky feet. I like my, I like my weed a little feety. Yeah, <laughs> a, little, a little sweaty. A little feety, you know. A little locker room. It gets the people going. Roll a blunt now, roll a blunt now. I need to roll a blunt cause it's time to smoke. Yeah. Hey. I need to roll a blunt so let's have a talk. Hey. Yeah. You need some weed? I need some weed. Right, listen. Hey, give listen. me some weed. You know what's going on. It's high give as hell. <laughs> Chilling out. About to get another show out here again. Hi with we got Wow Ash Wow in the building. Hello. Singer, songwriter, dancer, fashionista. Chilling. She needs weed. I got her her grinder. We got lighters. We got, you said packs and pearls, right? Yes, please. We got the pearls. Let's go get some weed. Uh, let's actually go to Apothecary right now okay. and you can get whatever weed you want. Oh, let's shit. Let's go on a little shopping spree and you can smoke what you want. Let's we'll come shop. back here and start the show. Let's you ready? Shop. You down? Let me get some of this, let me get some of this, let me get some of that, that, Love that, it. that, that. <laughs> let me let's get this, let me get that. All right, let's go make it happen. <laughs> All right. Yeah! Oh. Pop the carry! Alright. You said you've been here before. Yeah, it smells good in here too. It's ready. It smells for your lungs. I'm so juicy. Oh, this is so cool. Wow. You've been here? Yeah. Yes. Different a long time ago? Uh, like a long time ago. I was Whoa. Here. Actually, it's a little different. Wow. You go to dispensaries when you get weed or you just get a bunch of weed? Uh, a little bit of... Both? A little bit of, little bit of dispensary, a little bit okay. of bowl. What do you what do you do? What do you shop for? What do you like? What do you want to smoke? Um, definitely something that is in the cut. Okay. Uh, definitely whatever has like the freshest harvest date. Uh, I would recommend the Adam L O G, of course. Shut up. Because it's probably what? Fresh That's your face. Delicious. You like OGs? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So and I know that you're very picky about your OGs. Exactly. You go on a rant and be like, that's not an OG. Stop calling things OGs. Yeah. So I believe it when they say it's an OG. Oh, I'll take it. Smoke it on Adam's face. What? What? This shit is huge. That's wild. Do you what do you like? Yeah. Are you like, a, are you like gassy? Are you yeah, fruity? I like, are you I like, like a little bit of gas and <laughs> A little bit of gas, a little bit of fruit, but uh, yeah, some shit that's gonna like knock me on my ass. Cause you know I smoke a lot of weed. You like GMO? Are you a GMO fan? We have the, the house brand right here. Okay. GMO to me usually smells like BO and stinky feet. It's that's, not like my thing, but it's super heavy and people enjoy it. That's usually, yeah. A good sign. I like my, I like my weed a little feety. Yeah. <laughs> a, little, a little sweaty. A little feety, you know. A little locker room. It gets the people going. <laughs> you want to try the GMO? Uh, yeah, you let's like try it? that. Boom, sure. some GMO. How much do you smoke? Are you like a big, big smoker? I mean, I. That <laughs> one? I still smoke blunts and okay. I sing at the same damn time. Ooh. I actually Ooh. don't smoke before I get on stage, but as soon as I'm done. Didn't you smoke last time we did the show and then sing? And sang at the same time. Sure. So I actually break my habit when I'm on your show. If you like the stinky shit, I would probably also recommend since you smoke a lot Ooh, some of this, you know, THC design. I with THC design. The garlic a lot, cookie, like heavy. indica. Yeah, they have. It's also a five like... gram, so it's small, so that's easier for you to rule up. Oh, you did a little. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Am I doing okay with my choices? You're doing great with your choices. Yeah. I'm like, I just asked four questions and I know what you want. Can I girl dream big and take a look at this white out here? I remember when I was first getting started in like my whole cannabis journey and was like, I'm gonna make content. And I went to this um, Atlantic City Cannabis Expo and the guy named Mike that like actually does the genetics for this. Like CBS. Okay. I remember he was a cool fucking dude. Nice. Like, so yeah, every time I see CBX, I'm like, oh yeah, that guy Mike. <laughs> See the Sour Power OG. That's a seven gram bag too, so you know that's good for the for the blunts. Yeah. Eric actually got this one. I did, I highly recommend it. Do you smoking like it? it right well then now. let's He's do it. He's smoking it right now. Then I 
Trust it. Perfect. That is that our fearsome four pack right there? Yes. Start the fucking car so we can go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got the Apothecary 420 house brand, that GMO, and the garlic cocktail, because you like them uh, stinky terps. I do. We also got the Kushko Sour Power, your blunt weed. Ooh, Let's go. Ooh, making it happen. We're gonna... And of course, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> the Adam LOG. Let's go. Yeah, super lit. Oh. That's a great bag. This is a fantastic That's bag. That's one of my favorite bags. Yeah, this I is. I love that you're only flower. Like, oh, yeah, no, I'm. You ready to go smoke it? Let's go Let's smoke go. it. Let's get very, very high. Because that's what the show's all about. Can we talk? What? <laughs> you know what it is? The highest house, Adam L. Chilling out right here on the Getting High Wish Show. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for being here. You'll not be anywhere in the world right now, and you're here with us. So thank you so much. Listen, Kentron's been going at it on the keys for like the past uh, two hours. It's, I don't even know. He's just been hit after hit. I don't know, dude. It's maybe an hour. I don't know, dude. But you've been vibing, playing hits. We've been grooving. Uh, it's a good day today. We got um, an amazing show ahead of us, dude. Because the last time I had this guest on, it was a fucking straight vibe. Ended up making new songs. I just fucking... I, I re-listened to it. I was like, yo, I should actually sample this shit and use it as like a show intro. Shit. It was just so fucking amazing. Uh, if you're watching live, you see it. If you're seeing it on the videos, you see it. But if you're just listening to audio, we got, uh, I mean, you're always out here with the fits. Fashionista, you, you out know, here. just a little something, something. Looking you fresh. Pull up to the Adam Ilse. <laughs> We got, what? You know, I got to show up with a little something on. I got my shit on. Singer, songwriter, on. model, out here and got a billboard in Times Square on the cover of your favorite magazines, making content, uh, just doing the damn thing. Wow, Ash, wow is back in the building, yeah. Yes. This is where the audience, this is where like the crowd comes in uh, oh, right hi. now, but no, we're good. <laughs> No, Adrian, Adrian should press like the, the like cheering, the audience <laughs> clapping right now when I welcome the guest. But he's, is it satisfying? Yeah. He's, po yeah. no, that one. he's posing for Eric. Yeah, the, the, the audience. Yeah, that one. There you go. I was like, is it satisfying to my own audience noise? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome. It's good. Thank you for coming back on. How you been? How's everything? I see you just still killing it. <laughs> Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, I am glad to be here. And yeah, shit's been busy, man. Like, busy, grinding, um, working for doing more fashion shit, working on new music, uh, working on new visuals for stuff, just doing the same shit, but just elevating a little bit more. So, you know, same shit, just I different mean, toilet. Look, <laughs> I seen you. You know, last time you were on, you were perform, you were performing places. I seen you perform for my first time. Uh, I think last year or something. 
I hosted an event that you were performing at yeah. uh, for Laganja Estranja. She did a little uh, a show and she had some of her favorite people there. I hosted, you performed also, yeah. you know, with your choreography and your wardrobe. <laughs> you, you like really put in a performance. So you're not just like out here singing. Like you do choreo, you do looks, you do, yeah. you like yeah, really you know, diva listen, mode. Because my grandma, she always said, she was like, People work way too hard for you to give them a boring ass show. So when you get on stage, you better give the people what they earned and worked for. They're spending their hard earned money for you. So I take that sentiment into mind is like, uh, make sure that I'm having fun, but giving people a an experience, a show. Like you can listen to Spotify. You can listen to me on Spotify at home. Like, why did you come to see yeah, me? Yeah, you can listen to me anytime you want. <laughs> exactly. You came for an experience. I'm going to give you that. <laughs> yeah. But now you out here uh, um, doing the damn thing, still making it happen. How is the Times Square thing? Is that, like, surreal? How is that uh, That moment was absolutely wild. Yeah. Uh, so we had the Times Square billboard. I've known that I've had it since last year, October. And it's it's been like one of one of the hardest secrets for me to hold because I usually, you know, want to share with everyone like, hey y'all, I'm doing this yeah. and catch me on a bit. But this one it was like, no, dude, like you gotta hold it and like um hold that shit in for the moment. And they were like, okay, it's gonna drop right at midnight. And I went there with my mom, actually. Like, yeah. I shared. You're like, we got to go to New York right now. Yeah, no, I was like, I got to share the moment with my mom. And yeah. uh, midnight came and I had called my uh, creative team that I work with because I have a whole army of amazing people that are dope. Let me say something before we continue about this <laughs> Times Square story. Like, anywhere you're at, I've seen you perform at various clubs, shows, even hanging out in like a backyard for a birthday party. You always find a spot and you just like, this is, this is my set. Yeah. And then you just start posing and you yeah. come up with these, just, it looks yeah. like you're doing a full ass, <laughs> like professional photo shoot. And it's just you with the iPhone and me moving over here, just like posing you like, look up, little left, eyes down, shoulders, yep, bam. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm blessed that I <laughs> I have an amazing team of people that I'm surrounded by that like genuinely want to see me win at shit. And like, you know, living out here, like people don't want to see you win sometimes. So they want to see you win, but like a little bit, but people are just like- It's phony homies. A lot yeah. of phony homies out here. Yeah. A no, lot of what can I get from you homies out here. Unfortunately, like that's what I had to navigate through when I first moved out here. But I'm really, really blessed that like my circle of folks that I have around me, yeah. like they are fucking solid and they will be like, come here, bitch, you sweating. Let me pat you in the middle of her. Yeah. <laughs> like, or as you see May Moon, like chin down. Yeah. <laughs> Find your light. <laughs> so I mean, it's a lot, you know, being America's next pop model, like <laughs> when I have to do all that and they're like telling me how to pose and these putting me in outfits I normally would never wear. You know. You I'm know. just like okay. I, they they got the eye. I'm just uh, I'm just exactly. the object. I'm just I'm just the hanger that's there, <laughs> and you tell me how to pose yeah. and look fantastic. And this is pre-filter. You know, a lot of people aren't who they post they are. So yeah. there's like a lot of editing going on. But like the real life, you out here just getting them looks, dude. Yeah. No. No filter. No filter needed. <laughs> No filter required and or needed. Listen, what it you was, see is what you get. It was like <laughs> super inspiring. I was like so motivated. I was like, fuck, this, she's doing it. Let me get down right yes. now real quick too. Like, what the fuck? Let me get, babe, take my camera. I want to get some angles right now. Let's you go. You know, and May Moon still can get your angles. Like, oh, yeah? All right, we'll get it. We'll get it. We got. I got a nice red curtain here. We could do something. Period. Just... <laughs> okay, <laughs> iPhone portrait mode. Noted, dude. Let's make it. So, um, I mean, you always are. Do you still um, get your own custom clothes? I know last time we were with Troy C. Ford. Oh, yeah. yeah we're still with Uncle. That's Uncle Troy yeah. now. Like. Did you ever find the bong that I made? The rhinestone bong? Remember we were talking about it last time? Oh. I know you don't remember. I don't remember, too. I just recently remembered. 
I remember a rhyme. You were supposed to make me a rhyme. No, I made one. There was like an episode we did. We filmed like some segment in his uh, studio in downtown. Uh, and oh. we had to rhinestone bongs, and then I, my rhinestone bong I left there because he oh, helped me no. with it. It was like a I collab didn't... project. No, but I'm about to pull up to the studio. Yeah. Like, where the fuck's the rhinestone bong, Uncle Troy? Uncle Troy, where's the rhinestone bong? I know you're watching yeah. this. Where are you? Like, where's it at? Like, where's the bong, you, Uncle you Troy? You break it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's probably somewhere sitting in his kitchen with flowers inside, like the like not being used in its correct purpose is probably where that shit is at. And you rolled up a pearl. Listen, you love flowers. You're just I a do. flower spot. We just came from Apothecary. We yes. went over there. You, The first thing you said when you came here, you're like, yo, like weed grinder. I was like, I got you. Don't even trip. You know what? It's called getting high with. I'm about to get... Yes. We went over to Apothecary and you, you say everything I love to hear from like a real smoker. What's the freshest? What's good? Like, you're not out here trying to look for specific shit. You're like, what's fresh? Because yeah, you know they like... know. They're there all day. I need, like, because I actually learned from a grower, and they said whenever you go to a dispensary and you want to order, like, it asking about, like, the percentages and all of that stuff doesn't what? really mean shit. It's a marketing ploy, essentially, because you can have something that is 35% THC, but that shit is from, like, 1969, and then you can have some shit that's... Hopefully it's not, but like, <laughs> like I don't you, think that's legal. <laughs> I, I know, but, but you know, you old know, shit, you know old what I'm trying to get like some Last really season. like old shit, and then you can have something that's like fucking 15, percent and it was harvested and packaged like maybe a couple weeks ago, and that shit that's 15 percent is gonna hit so much harder because it's fresher and. So yeah, percentage. It's like it's like produce. Like you want yeah, fresh produce. You exactly. don't want like that wilted mova again. Yeah, let me, let me I'm gonna I'm watch you though. I know you're a lighter thief. I, so I'm gonna be I don't even have any pockets on this jacket. Whatever, so you got ninety nine lighters and none of them are yours. <laughs> That's so true. I already know. <laughs> That's don't true. even come at me. I got ninety nine lighters and none of them are mine. That's why I got an extra one in my pocket. Okay, I'm ready. Well then you're then <laughs> I appreciate this. This is the guest lighter. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we're gonna have it. Uh, you uh, you still making the music? You got new music that you made? You yeah. dropping right? Yeah, I just dropped um actually for the Billboard in Times Square the song Legendary that I dropped that is on all platforms everywhere. You can go to wowashwow.com. Hey. And, um, is it active now? Yeah, hey. no, wowashwow.com is active. We got the music you can stream. We got all the videos that you can see all in one shot. We got even like a bitch made some merch because you know being an independent artist is expensive. So yeah, buy some fucking merch, y'all. <laughs> like, self funded. Yeah, exactly. Fully self. What's the merch? Uh, it's hoodies. It's t-shirts. It's a poster from my second album, The Algorithm. It's stickers. Like it's you know. Did you call it algorithm so you could show up in the algorithm when people type in algorithm? Oh, no, I called it the algorithm because. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, SEO is maybe. important, you know, that search using that Google search bar and just having your shit pop to the top is it. No, that's really smart, but I actually did not do that. I uh, <laughs> I had a very artistic meaning behind it, but that would have been smart. Well, um, what is it? So I called it the algorithm because so many times like us as like new independent artists, we are told to create shit that's like TikTok bites and like stuff that's algorithm friendly. And I've, you know, for the past couple of years been hurt hearing about the algorithm, the algorithm, the algorithm. So it's almost like they turn us as artists into like these like AI bots instead of actual fucking artists making things. Um, so the album cover is me half morphing into this machine and robot and then the other half is like me and stuff. And that was that outfit was made by Uncle Troy. Hey. And like, uh, the airbrushing where I'm like half Android is that was done by him as well. So it was cool. Like I full creates with fabric. I full I, I, I mean I'll, I watch Drag Race, Guilty Pleasure, and seeing a lot of things he creates on the shows also, like, you're like, damn, I met that yeah, dude. I'm like, gonna, I'm gonna he, get, I want to get fitted. Yeah, no, you, he would fit the fuck out of you. <laughs> I'd be nervous. 
Because he, he's a, he he got a super wild creative mind, and I can't imagine. But no, Uncle Troy is so sweet. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know he's a great person. Yeah, no, he's a wonderful person, but his mind is wild. You just gotta be <laughs> like, make me some shit, so you could say I want like. Oh my god, he could make you a tuxedo suit that's all white, but then airbrush a whole bunch of Adam Hills all over it. Like just a whole bunch of your face. And it's kind of like the Mr. Joker vibe, but it's like I like it. Or I should get like a, a, a like if I'm doing a white suit, I should just get a lot of like ash on it. So it looks like I ash all over my face, so when I really do ash on myself, I don't have to worry about my white getting dirty. I'm like, yeah, just it's part of the just part of the of like, part of the fit. <laughs> it's an ever changing fit. I'm fucking here for that. <laughs> can't can't even tell. Blend in that ash on the white. You know, period. Blend this that ash. Some good weed. Yeah, what is? Would you? I mean, we I, went to apothecary. You got a good I bag. Did. Yeah. No, I got. This is uh, Kush Company Sour Power OG. Ooh, the Sour yeah, Power. The, she smells nice. She's nice and fresh, and she smokes very well. Yeah. Eric like that one too. That's what you rolled up. What are you smoking? What'd you take out yeah. the bag? I just rolled up the garlic. The okay, yeah. You got some garlic cookies. You got the GMO, okay. and okay. you also got um that wonderful Adam Ill OG. Yeah, no, I'm like very excited to smoke the Adam Ill OG. Yeah, you, like, whenever you're ready, just savor that. Is our blunts your preferred method of smoking? They are. Uh, blunts first. Then bong second, then third joint. Um, you do dabs? Not as much as I used to. Like I did that whole like three gram dab phase. And that shit kind of unnecessary. That kind of traumatized me. Yeah. <laughs> like, after doing like that whole like smoke as many fucking dabs as you can at once, I do not recommend. Yeah, overconsumption is a real thing. Yeah, no, I don't recommend any overconsumption. I have learned to like stop smoking when I've smoked enough, and that shit's nice. Like, <laughs> but I still smoke a lot of fucking weed. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, you roll in all the time. I see you smoking all the time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you a real smoker. Have has the smoke affected your singing at all? Or like, cause people are like, oh, you can't smoke blunt if you're a singer. I mean, that adds personality. I mean, I'm supposed to tell people that yes, it you should not smoke blunts and like sing, but I do, um, and it hasn't. So yeah, this is you know, yeah. So yeah, I smoke blunts all the time, and still, I just smoke. <laughs> like I just smoke and I'm still able to hit those high notes and stuff that I need to hit. So um, I don't smoke before I get on stage and perform and do a live show. Like you gonna get all this crazy wild energy on <laughs> stage. Right. And you're like, I can't yeah. do it while I'm high. Yeah, no, I can't really do it while I'm like stoned and stuff because my, you know, like Make some noise. I, mean, I feel it. Ah, let's go, y'all. Like that's I deal with that audience a lot at these events I host. Everyone's yeah. just like dab down high. Exactly. Like, get excited. Like, like, get woo. like woo. <laughs> See, I love doing those events because like Adam, you've seen like one of my very first like gigs that I had was when I did that parking lot in Vegas, and it was my friend Cameron. Oh, you had the and the one dancer that one was like dancer. five dancers in one, because <laughs> yeah. he, uh, he, they, she, he, like, killed it. Yeah, no, he killed it. He killed it. <laughs> like, he killed it. Cameron is like 16 dancers in, in one. one. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I'm like, this fool is yeah, getting no, it. Yeah, no, and it was like me and one solo dancer, and I mean, like, y'all were high and dabbed out, and y'all moved, so... That that's because I'm a hype ass person. That's my challenge, though. I'm like, listen, if I can make like a bunch of people who are stoned move, I can make fucking anybody move. <laughs> Do you get high when you learn your choreo for your routines, or is that like? Yeah. Uh, yes and no. Like when I'm learning it, like, and they're like, you gotta be focused. Uh, no. But then right after, when I'm really sore, because they've made me run it like a hundred times. Oof. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> like dance is like 
I can do a dance, but it's not my strong suit. So they always are like, all right, again, 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 again. Just want it again. in your brain. Yeah, pretty just make much. It like so that second nature. Don't even fucking think about it. It's like me rolling the blunt. I can just, just getting it. Do it. <laughs> do it in the dark with my eyes closed. What? Period. Big indica smoker. What's like? What's what is like a day in the life? For, oh, oh no! Hold on. Before we do that, we got to okay. finish the Times Square story. We oh, went yeah, way so off Times, topic. Yeah. So sorry. Times Square. You took Times your mom. Square, creative. Billboard. Let's go. Um. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> sorry, y'all. Um, That's my fault. So yeah, this was actually last week. We last week Thursday, we got the Times Square midnight hit. I had Facetime my whole creative team that I worked with, and <laughs> it just like flashed up like my face with all the dancers behind me and just like getting it and them you know me putting my hand out my qr code to go to wowatchwow.com and like that shit was i didn't really know what to say um but my mom pretty much said it for me she screamed so loud that's my baby. Is that <laughs> not no words, no just syllables and grunts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yes, I was just like, whoa, that's me. And um, yeah. When again during the daytime to see it and was like, whoa, that's me. And then there were people around me that were like. Is that you? And I was like, Yeah. Follow up. Go to Wild Wash <laughs> See, I got shy because I was out there like by myself and just trying to like enjoy the moment. Like I had on a hoodie and like glasses. Like uh, you don't see me. Right. And they're like, No, bitch, we see you. Like <laughs> that is you. Yeah. I, the hair is the same. <laughs> like, so, we know who that is. So yeah, no, that was a really surreal moment. So for the next like month and a half every thursday and friday like my face um flashes in times square 88 times a day let's go <laughs> <laughs> times square new york oh and also the song legendary um is now being played on 12 radio stations in brazil hey international and we also just charted on the pop charts, we broke the top 200. Let's the go. Charts, so. There you go, Adrian. There you go. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> 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 we'll work. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she's been moving, and we just like released it last Friday um, or last Thursday, actually. And I've been really focused on doing like the old school way of pushing it instead of like a lot of like content and making tiktok shit and stuff like i don't know just old school getting my shit out on the radio and like doing like the grassroots like, billboards and magazine Bill covers billboards and, and magazines and shit and interviews like, <laughs> like an interview <laughs> like, i'm on a press tour <laughs> like, so, we're gonna do it yeah yeah no like so and i appreciate you having me on this by the way that's crazy that they have the like equation down like they know exactly how many times like how many numbers how long each clip is and like yep. it has mathematically perfect to oh, just yeah. have it bam 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 you're yeah, just gonna no, be played it's... this many times this many times an hour and they literally they sent me the schedule they're like it's the top of the hour the 15th of the hour the 35th of the hour the 50th of the hour and repeat again and they're like and that equates to 88 times per day and i was like all right well about um 88 times a day about i think there's a like almost a million people that walk through that whole entire area and stuff so someone's gonna see it somebody's gonna has it have you seen any like tr traction like visits yeah. to the website follows on the socials yeah um the people that have been listening to the music it has really really like expounded um definitely popping off in south korea now <laughs> so you're in multiple countries now <laughs> like, 
Uh, yeah, my music right now is popping off in Berlin. I'm actually in June going to be going to Berlin because my music video class enrollment got seven. Berlin, Germany. Berlin, Germany. They um, just legalized weed. Did they? Yeah. Oh, cheers for that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ooh, you just gave me great news. Yes, baby. We cheers in for that. Um, so I'm going to be going out to Germany for about a week because my music video got nominated for seven nominations for the Berlin Music Video Award. What? Yeah. You got so nominated for... I got nominated <laughs> for, for class in enrollment. So um, it is most... I, I'll, that's, give it, that's... I'll give it back. I'll give it no, back. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm oh. just shocked. I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, in awe, you're like, yeah, I mean, different countries getting recognized and nominated. Like, no, I'm going international. I'm out here multiple continents. What? Yeah, I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> right, I, now Adrian's having fun. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I've just been putting my head down, rolling my blunts, working hard, and pushing my shit out there. But, um, yeah, they... So now that I know in Germany weed is legal, oh, bitch, we fins too. Oh, it's like, right. That's true. That's a that's a headline news that's been around, right? Yeah, yeah. It's well, I'm gonna research it because I need to know. Like, you're about to make I yeah. Need, I mean, I you still so, you. I mean, you're good with re you, you still trying to do law? I know you were into law before you were. Yeah, no, I was. You went to like I was, law school or some shit and said, "Fuck this, I'm a singer." Yeah, so Elvis came I went, to my grandpa's house. I'm fucking <laughs> in the music industry. So yeah, no, I, I was like, that's somewhat the story, but you've got some parts muddled. Um, yeah, I was supposed to go to law school and got accepted and everything, and just said. Um, music and this is what i want to do because i can't do this so you know my mom was i told you she was disappointed and yeah. called me a professional pothead and hey if you're a professional that means you're getting paid very that speak on it um but now she has definitely come around and you know traveling with you to times square yeah there's actually i have to show it to you you're gonna crack up so my picture of how she saves me as her contact because you wouldn't believe it unless i actually showed it to you is hold on where is it she this, say she's this is how my mom it's me smoking a joint with with a pillow that says pussy not war yeah <laughs> i mean don't you have a song called like pussy power or I do something have a song called pussy power Are you and talking about like... yeah does she does but she was... sing that to you um no but she does say that's her favorite song she'll be like you know what but she won't say like pussy to me she'll be like pee power yeah. <laughs> and i'm like what power mom she's like you know pee power i love that song <laughs> <laughs> she won't say pussy to me. <laughs> yeah, I seen you uh, do some uh, videos with your mom on the socials. She's yeah. been included, and you've done like uh, in the car, listen to your music with her yeah. and get her reactions. Yeah, good, like, good she, yeah, yeah. She knows all the words. Like she's my biggest fan, and like all the words, the curse words too. And she be saying them hard. <laughs> while she's singing them, but when she's talking to you, she's like, pee power. Yeah, like talking to me, it's pee power. But like, like, pop that pussy, pop, pop, pop that yeah, pussy. Yeah, like pop. literally walking around the fucking track um, back home at the park, just like, pop that pussy, bitch. Look at, <laughs> pop that pussy, bitch. Put it in a handstand. That nigga gone, make your bitch. Hey. And she's just like, do, 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 do. She's so cute. She's a cute lady. What? <laughs> she's a cute lady. So now she's come around, cause uh, but um, that's not true. Elvis didn't go to your grandpa's house or something. Oh no, that's one hundred percent true. Okay, cause yeah, you said my no. shit was muddled, but I just kind of like no, paraphrased. no, no. You it was like paraphrasing. That's like last I was show. Like, we learned all about that. Already. I was like, oh, that was wild. I was like, how'd you find out about that? <laughs> <laughs> Research. Um, do you yeah, do any Elvis was... songs? Have you ever like tried to sing or no, do any Elvis I've covers? No, I've never tried to do anything that was like Elvis related, but I remember the story my grandma told me that she was like, when my mom was little, she was like this white guy came to our house and knocked on the screen door and was like, I heard there's this cat named Al who's like the baddest drummer or whatever and so he was just like 
yeah that's me and like wanted to hire him as like a session studio drummer and like that white guy uh-huh. was elvis presley uh-huh. <laughs> that's that's a crazy so, story yeah so that's you know did he work for him did he do this he did one session with him and then he had his own band and stuff that he then did he got, in, yeah. so. like you you got your own band now. yes he did his own thing so music and all of that has it's pretty much been in my whole family like What's like a typical day for Ash? Wow, Ash, Hashley. Who? Work. <laughs> work, work. Do you work. have like a, are you like a, yeah, do so, you like wake up, have a routine? Do you do any, is it like the emails? Uh, yeah, I normally wake up at like 5 30, 5 in the morning. Uh, like naturally without an alarm like okay. i just wake up like hello world <laughs> like, I, when you first wake up you just get up you don't go back to sleep no i'm just like once my eyes crack open i'm awake <laughs> i do a toss over i'm like Ugh. yeah no i no. hope the dogs didn't see me because <laughs> <laughs> once they see you it's, it's over, over. <laughs> like, they're in your face yeah no it's no like um I just wake up and then I usually will check my email or put on some like thriller podcast, smoke a blunt or hit the bong, um, look at like the emails and shit that I have for you the day. You say thriller podcast? Like the, yeah. like the murders like, and like the- Her eyes were cut off, her ears were chopped off. <laughs> Are these like audio books or are these like descriptions of like murders and shit? Like, I don't know. It's like all, well, like no audio books. It's like unsolved, unsolved mysteries. This murder and, shit, like, crime scenes and stuff. Like there's this um one oh, dude yeah. named Mr. Ballin that I'm fucking obsessed with. Like, That's how he sounds? Um, is what chopped off. No, this oh. is just me smoking this pearl <laughs> okay. right now and also trying to talk like, you know, and so I sound like Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, Don't no. make fun of me. I'm not. I, <laughs> thought, I thought that was... No, I enjoyed it. I love that. Hello, everybody. Yes, <laughs> Ever wish you could get more of the Getting High Wish show even earlier? Well, now you can. Join our Patreon family and unlock access to exclusive content, including behind the scenes footage, conversations, and episodes dropping a week, even a month earlier. But that's not all. We're spicing things up for our Patreon members with a monthly giveaway. You already know those giveaways are gonna be lit. You heard it, every month, one lucky subscriber gets a chance to win some fantastic cannabis goodies and accessories. That's right. From premium strains to exclusive merchandise, our monthly giveaways and our way of saying thank you for being a vital part of the Getting High Wish Show family. So not only do you get access, early access to mind-blowing content, you also stand a chance to win some incredible prizes. Head over to patreon.com slash the Getting High Wish Show and become a member today. And as a thank you, we'll throw your name on the credit list at the end of the show for your support. Now let's make this journey even more unforgettable together. Back to the good times, and we're getting high with show, and I'll see you on Patreon. That's you know, um, <laughs> no, normally I'm listening to like either some very like proper white dude talking about some crazy ass murder mystery, or like some very proper British white dude talking about some, you know, like the key form is like some white dude, some white, some, some white guy with an accent, with an accent talking, talking about, about murder shit, yes. and I'm just like, damn, that's wild, you know. So. And you check your emails while this happening. Yeah, no, I do check my emails while that's happening. Nice. And go through all my shit and get my day planned and started, and or sometimes I'll um you know not even check emails write some stuff and work on some music um and that is pretty much the start of my day and then it just goes from there so whatever i need to do in terms of like marketing planning because this shit is like 24 7. yeah (laughs) independent you're all on your own i know that life yeah like when you are independent like you don't you know i have a team but i don't have like it's not like a record label where they're like, show up here, here's your schedule, like, yeah. you know, like I am They have it planned out for you. Yeah, you gotta I'm, do it all yourself. No, yeah, I, I am finance, I am Are you well organized? Are you like super, like, everything's on file, labeled, like, 
Are you kind of like yes and scatterbrain no. like me and everything's all over the place and you're just like, let's just go with it. Yeah, yes and no. Like there's certain things that I'm super organized about and that I have very scheduled and like regimented. And then there's some shit that I'm like, I got it. Like for example, I don't keep a calendar. Like my calendar is well, thanks in for my showing head. Up. Yeah. yeah, but no, I know that I have it. Like, and May Moon will tell you, I'll just be like, yeah, the 15th. And they'll be like, what's the 15th? I'm like, you know, the 15th at 2.30. Like, <laughs> so yeah, I can remember shit in my head and that's where I keep my calendar. I should probably, like my mom has sent me so many calendars. And yeah, but I mean, you got it on your phone. You could just add a I day. Know, just but I, go to calendar and add plus and then just be like, recital that sounds great in theory but the likelihood of me doing that Listen. walking out this door is zero to zero i totally understand <laughs> i'm gonna it's in my head <laughs> what's your favorite cereal fruity loops Fru fruity loops yeah fruit loops. fruit loops fruit okay, loops is that what it's it's oh. fruit loops oh it's fruit loops yeah, yeah. I'd be but fruity up. loops might be fire i'd be fucking up shit all the time like do i know, never say the right name do you know did you know fruit loops okay. all the different colors are the same flavor i believe it yeah they're not different flavors flavor all, fire all the colors are the same thing if you eat a green one or a purple one or an orange one it's all the same taste yeah i believe that yeah, because yeah. I've never really had like, ooh, this is very lemony. Or, yeah. Ooh, this is like. No, Some people think it is, but no, it's not. It's all just a very good flavor, is what it is. Is yeah. Yeah. Much. Fruit Loops is a it's a solid answer. Oh yeah. Solid answer. What about you? My favorite cin cereal? Yeah. Oh, cinnamon toast crunch, top tier all day. You can't okay. fuck up CTC. What? Okay. All right, I fucks with that. I like, but I go a little crazy with cereal because I like I like to create and I'm a big munchy head, so like I'll put like like ch chocolate chip cookies and then cinnamon toast crunch and then I'll add milk and I'll have like cookies and cereal at the same time and like I'll eat the cookies with my fingers and the cereal. Yeah, it's like a whole I had a, high, a whole experience. A high stoner moment with like French toast. Like mm, I love French toast. Yeah, I made a medicated French toast with. Um, blueberry and citrus compote on top of it and whipped cream and that shit was all right let me ask you this listen right. we're on a road trip we're going to a show i'm hosting you're performing okay. we're just you know we're like let's just carpool right all right and we pull over to the like the little gas station liquor store spot you know little convenience store okay what what are you getting we're going in there what are you getting Oh, um, like get munchies, drinks. What's like your go-to? Yeah, well, definitely some type of water. Uh, <laughs> some type of water, preferably alkaline. I know that's basic, but I like to stay hydrated. Let's hose. go. Don't judge me. Okay. Um, gummy bears, and uh, okay. So if they are a fancy gas station, then they have these truffle oil and sea salt kettle chips. Okay. But if not, then just like some sour cream and onion or queso. Like chips. Chips. Okay. Yeah. Fire. Yeah, something Solid. that's very cheesy. Just Sweet, savory. Yeah. Gummy bears munchies, and like chips. Cheesy type chips yeah. all day. That's and a, I feel it. Pizza Pringles, too, since we're at it. Do they still make those? Yeah, they make those. Oh. I eat those. Of course they make those. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Pizza Pringles in a minute. Well, <laughs> be prepared to see them all the what? time. You don't fuck with spicy, spicy snacks? No, I don't. I can. The only spice I can handle is, like, Jamaican curry. And, like, other than that, I can't. I can't do it. I can't at all. No spice. No spice. Yeah. No spice at all. <laughs> no spice at all. No spice. No spice at all. What do you? I'm just uh, like Kentron's playing. I want to like sing my answers. <laughs> you should. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. What are you listening to right now? Like, what did you pull up? You you came here with? If I got in the car, what are we listening to? Oh. Are you still listening to Murder Mysteries all night, or are you no. changing the vibe? <laughs> We're listening to a mean Listening to a mean Saying it's okay. Hit me with another one, not um. Uh, what's your cotton mouth cure? Um, Is it just chewing water? lots of gum, drinking water, 
Drinking water, chewing lots of gum. Gum and water? What's your, t- uh, 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 what's your Taco Bell order? Oh, you go, yeah. let's see. I want to see, yeah, sing that Taco Sometime Bell order. My Taco Bell order would be the following. First, we're going to start out with a cheesy chalupa. Hey. Make sure you make my shit with chicken and no beef. Because the beef shit's kind of weird. The beef <laughs> shit's kind of gross. Then add in a five-layer burrito. Sub the beef for chicken. I said sub the beef for chicken. And a cheesy roll-up, too. Better make it to in the Mountain Dew. Hey. In the Mountain Baja Dew. Baja Blast. Make it blue. Hey. Make it blue. And that's my Taco Bell order for you. And make it two. Yeah. Now make it two. Two of those. <laughs> Shit, make it five. <laughs> yeah. We all eat. <laughs> Yo. We all eating tonight. <laughs> All right, if you could, um, I'll keep going with the questions if you okay. want. Uh, hey, hey, there you go. All right. They're all loving right. it in the chat, too. Hi, chat. All... Hey, Adrian, turn um, Ken up just a little bit more uh, during this. Uh, if you could have any superhero power. Anything. You can even make it up. Ooh. My superpower would be to see things through fake bitches. <laughs> My superpower would be to see things through fake bitches. I see a bitch coming to me, and I'm like, fake, excuse me. Bye. I can't see you, how you gotta go. Anybody that's fake, invisible to me, will take that <laughs> superpower times three. Superpower times three. Yes. Hey. <laughs> speaking, speaking of three, if you could take, have three people, three people, dead or alive, to have dinner with, just chilling, anyone, characters, oh. past, present, First one, hands down, Jimi Hendrix. Okay. First down, hands one, Jimi Hendrix. Then we're gonna move on to Nelson Mandela. Hey. Move on to Nelson Mandela. Then we're gonna move on to the guy that made Light of Jaw. Move on to, you know, the geneticist that made the strain Light of Jaw. I want to meet that guy and have dinner with him. Light of Jaw? Yeah, because that's like the best motherfucking strain. <laughs> Where'd you that get I've that at? Had. Um, when I was in Holland, like three, like actually no, like five years ago, and it's like considered one of the best strains, like. Light of jaw. Light of jaw. Okay, I'm gonna have to look into this. Yeah, no. You like got out of your singing yeah. voice to like, <laughs> I was like, be like listen, minute. bitch. Wait, wait let a me minute. tell you about let this. Y'all tell- smoking whatever, but <laughs> yeah. light of jaw is <laughs> like, what you need. J A H. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. So the geneticist that made light of jaw. <laughs> that's who I wanted to me. Now we can go back to singing. <laughs> <laughs> light of jaw. <laughs> that was a good experience, Holland. Uh, was it Amsterdam? Amsterdam was beautiful And I saw the tulips too Yeah It was gorgeous And saw all the museums Had a shit called a Stroop Waffle Hey Oh that shit's amazing Some flat waffles Oh my god that shit With the caramel Yeah in inside the side. Yeah. Caramel And then you get a cup of tea and put it on top And then that shit's gonna melt down And it's gonna drip, drip, drop Hey. Hey, let's see. <laughs> You're out here I'm just gonna keep asking you questions You can make it happen Let's go Ketra, how you feeling? How you feeling? I feel good <laughs> I'm just jamming playing the song, yeah. man Like, cause I wanna Man, this girl's been singing these uh, Who is this? This is Brandy You know what I'm saying? So I've been wanting to do this song, but 
Maybe next time we'll sing it. Ken's having like the biggest smile on his face right now. <laughs> I, I, I'm tone deaf, you know, I can't <laughs> sing it. And, and Ken loves playing with, with other musicians. And I'm guessing Ooh, your voice is just, it's just vibing so great hey. right now. I love that shit. Thank dude. you, man. Chat's right. loving it too. Shout out to everyone watching live right now. Let me let me ask you one other thing, dude. I ask a lot of people this. I don't think I've ever asked Ken. I think I want to, his answer too after you. Okay. Uh, you're walking down the street, right? Just chilling, whatever. And a portal just appears. Okay. Oh, we're singing it too. I love it. Are you entering the portal? Absolutely. I'm walking straight in that bitch right <laughs> away. Like, what's going on in here? What y'all got in here? Where the weed at? Where the fucking weed at? But if you ain't got none, I got to go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> gotta go home. I gotta go smoke. <laughs> are you do you are you competitive? Do you play games? Are you like a do you do like board games oh, yes. or like card games? Me and my homies have game nights. Yes. Yeah. And we have once every year some type of Olympic game. Like and play like super competitive like we play tug of war stop it we play all types of game fights what? we play survivor okay and we don't like to play that competitive type participation trophy shit i will cut a bitch to win <laughs> but you're still my friend but i'll cut you to win <laughs> do you uh do you guys play connect four no. No. Do you play Connect Four? What was the last time you played Connect Four? The last time you beat my ass at Connect Four. I where? The last time I was on this show. The, I, I didn't think we played Connect Four that time. We play. Wait, no, I played. Was it at an event? It was like big. A big Connect one, yeah. Four. It was at an event. Yes. Yeah. It wasn't on the lot. No, we didn't. I wasn't playing way back when then. But it was like at some point, yeah. Was it? It was. Was it at like a weed event or like? A I was definitely like convention? a weed event, and I, I mean, was like, listen, I was out here traveling the world playing that shit. Yeah, and I was like talking hella shit, and was like, oh, I could beat you. I connect four, and you're like, you really can't. But like, go off. And what happened? And I didn't win at connect four. Did you ever play again? Or? I never played. You again. want a rematch? All right. I can get it right now. Let's. You ready? Adrian, you got it. Eric, get a sip of water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hydrate. I'm gonna get the Connect Four ready, and uh, while we get this Connect Four set up, I'm ready to lose again. <laughs> no, 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 no. Thank you, Eric. No, no, don't say it like that. You don't. You don't know what's gonna happen. Listen. All right. I. You know Listen, what? I, I'll bet on me. I would bet on you too. I haven't been consistent recently. I've been losing. I used to be undefeated, and then, like, you know, someone beat me. I mean, listen, me. your Connect Four game was strong. Like, I mean, it's still strong, but like. we'll see what happens right now. I'll let you be red. I'll be All yellow. Right. Uh, while I do this, do you mind if I go to the live chat and see if they have any questions, yeah, if they have no, anything they want to know, uh, see what's going on? We're chilling with Wow Ash Wow, Wow Ash Wow, wow on all platforms. Check out her music, her videos. Uh, she got the YouTube. She got the website. She got all of that, so uh, check it out. Do you do karaoke at all? I, I mean, not professionally, but no. Like, do you if you're at like a yeah, bar and they have karaoke? Which is do you have like a go-to song? Yeah, it's usually. Um, oh my god, why am I blanking out? Free Bird. Free Bird. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you are. You. I remember you were like in a punk band and played yeah, like had the whole emo like, like ball and chain necklace and yeah, like, like all of that shit. I remember so, that. Yeah, like Free Bird by Leonard Skinner or House of Rising Sun by the Ant something classic rock, Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne. Whoa, <laughs> that's what I'm singing or like Whitney Houston. <laughs> <laughs> so you sing the you sing the rock ballads exactly yeah that's fucking and people are like what the fuck yeah especially when i sing like ozzy osbourne crazy train they're just like oh well, what the fuck all right you want to go first or you want me to go first um ladies first ladies first. all right chat if you got any questions uh ask him right now uh i'll see what's up See what's going on, ladies first. Let's go. We started the game of Connect Four. 
we're making that happen. Uh, are you into? Uh, I don't like to call them conspiracies, but are you into like any theories, or do you believe in like other living beings? Um, one thousand percent believe in other living beings. I think that it's absolutely ridiculous for um, any of us to believe that there isn't some sort of like entity or something that's above. So yeah. Yes. One thousand percent believe in that. What? Are, what? There, I mean, recently there's been. Listen, I'm so sorry to do this to you. Are you about to connect for me? <laughs> Wait, already? <laughs> How? I'm sorry. Oh, oh Adam. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Exactly. I'm sorry. I just didn't want to keep it going too long. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to keep, we can keep going. You want, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I get to go twice now, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you go twice, I go twice. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. Oh, I just had to... It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I'm Hasbro recognized. You know, it's, I, it's, they sent it's, me. It's, they, they recognized me as a as a Connect Four champ. Stop. Really? You know, one night I played over a hundred games at Champs in Vegas last year. Shut up. Because if you beat me, you get like a whole discount on your order. So I played over like a hundred games. So you're like. And I tied one. So you're like a chess master of Connect Four. It's weird. I like see the numbers and everything. So it's like a rain man of Connect Four. Yeah, my talent has gone to Connect Four. <laughs> Listen, like, I mean, out of everything in the world, I mean, it's Connect Four. It's Connect Four. Listen, everybody's gotta have something. Connect Four is pretty dope. It's it's an amazing game. It's a good pastime. You should bring it to your uh, competitive nights when you play all your friends. You know what? I think so. We do these like cool games where it's. Um, like there's um we'll have let's like fish like fish farming and so you'll put an oven mitt on your hand and you like flap it all around and like you have to catch it you do like times. these minute to win it games yeah like those sort of like yeah um, like a, like a ping pong balls in the in the kleenex box and you put it in you gotta like yeah, work it out yeah like stuff like that yeah. it's a whole bunch of like fun games and we'll even um like the Every, cookie stack, you gotta like put a cookie on your forehead and then eat yep, it without then, like, like catching it, it and like do and, like, all that, do all of that stuff and like yeah. you know add it up throughout the day and whoever has like the most the points. highest score like wins bragging rights for the next game. So yeah. Well, we got really th quiet. Thanks, thanks for the invite. Oh, to the games. You're you know, 100%. I, I, I for my birthday, it. I'm gonna have the Wow Olympics. Ooh, what does that mean? Um, so it's gonna be a day in the park where we just play a shit ton of games, tug of war, and all like you know survivor games and like football tag and like all of that stuff. And then um, we're gonna go to this fancy ass restaurant and eat a shit ton of food after that like a fancy restaurant yeah like and have our closing ceremonies i'll tell you where it is after yeah yeah that'll be on air but yeah. um listen i'm all about games and food yeah that's pretty much what i want my birthday to be games and food <laughs> Uh, everyone say they love you on the show. You're amazing. They love your voice. Oh, thank it's you. been a great time. They said I don't. They, so it was like I don't have questions, but I'm glad I was here. Wow, Ash, wow is a vibe. Oh, if so, we, yeah, yes. Hi, chats, waving. Hi, y'all. Yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> they're out here uh, chilling. Wow, Ash, wow on all platforms. New music out. You got shows coming up. You doing anything that people can see you live? Uh, you need right any now, backup dancers? You taking auditions? Right now, we are working on the visuals. So the shows are coming up this spring and summer. So, yeah, get ready for that because we'll be making announcements. Spring and summer. Spring and summertime. Listen, it's yes. been a vibe. We usually, uh, you know, I think we went a little over what we try to do, but 
you know, I'm down to go a little bit longer if you want to vibe out with Ken, because I'm sure oh, chat yeah. would love to hear some more. Ken loves to play. Yeah, uh, I was with like, singers. Ken's got like some "Don't Stop Believing" over there. You want it? Don't we, stop. He got classic rock. He got. He's like a. He's like a, a a whole. Yes, can we gonna sing together? Like what last time. Uh, whatever. What you feel? You want freestyle oh, or you want actual I'll song? Find, not you getting shy. Like, oh. <laughs> don't get oh, shy oh, now. Oh, <laughs> let's pick a song. You know we need. Um, wow, can't they? I, I got one. We, we okay. just did it earlier. How okay. deep is your love? You know that song? How deep is your love? Maybe. Let me see. I know your eyes are the morning sun. I feel your touch. Give me the word in the pouring rain. Right here. In the moment that you find that far from me, I wanna see you in my arms again. And you come to me on a summer breeze. Keep you warm in your love and your soul. You got uh, like a classic okay, rock, dude. But yeah. you got the journey. You got some like uh uh like uh, hair nation shit, some let's uh journey. What you want? Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me look at it. Uh, you start off and I'll look up the words. Okay. Uh I, I what's the words would be I get so I weak. don't know what it is. That's what it is. Shit. So we. Let me get my piano together. Yeah, get your piano together. Let me get yeah, these. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, Ken. Yeah. Boom. I need that right there. Yes. Yeah. Hey. I don't know what it is that you've done to me. For your sesh, we should do like a like a live live uh, music singing sesh. Yay. You should pull up Thursday. I'm doing a little a little sesh What's on in Thursday? the valley. It's like my every, it's leap year, so I'm doing a little like oh, vibe, nice. like doing a live podcast, live stream, chill. We got some brands there. We're gonna make some blunt rosin. We're gonna, you know, 
Have a good little sesh. Little. You had me at blunt rosin. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's been a great show. That that oh, we're yeah. over an hour plus, and Ooh. that shit went by real quick. Sorry, y'all. No, no, it was fucking great. No, we killed it. I mean, we keep. I don't even fuck. We ain't on time limit. We try to keep it yeah, at no, a limit. I understand. It's the cameraman for me right now. It's just like, hey. He's moving his hips to it. Hey. Wow, ash, wow, in the building. At wow, ash, wow, wow, ash, wow, dot com. All platforms. Are you still SoundClouding? Uh, still SoundClouding. Uh, all platforms. So, yeah. SoundCloud, Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music. Um, if you've got a Peloton, I'm on there too. Well, uh, what are you what? watching right now? Do you like? Do you consume content? Oh yeah, movies, shows. Yeah, hella um, Korean dramas on Netflix. What? Yeah. Like that's what Eric said. That's the best shit. Yeah, like yeah, hella Korean like cop dramas on like. The Korean versions of like Law and Orders and stuff, but it's like really intense. So is it what, what makes it intense? Like the the, uh, like the story visuals writing. Or? Well, yeah, the visuals for sure, but like the story writing lines and just um, how it's shot and just certain things that they all do there, like culturally, that like we wouldn't necessarily do or see here. So. Yeah, no, shit's dope, so. That's yeah. crazy, because my wife watches uh, some of those, like, other country, like, dramas yep. and, like, little show, and you end up falling. I'm, like, sitting there, and, like, damn, now I'm getting sucked into this fucking yep. drama show. Yeah, no, May Moon will tell you that, like, half the time our, like, house, there's nothing in English that is. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's Do you learn always... languages like that, too? Do you understand, like, certain catchphrases or, like, the oh, my gods or stop uh, or just hello, like... how are are you? Yeah, so like I've watched enough to like figure out that like Anyang Haseo is like hello in Korean and then like That sounds like a hard hello, say it again. <laughs> Anyang Haseo. That's it. Like Anyang yeah. Haseo. Anyang. I'm not lying. Oh. <laughs> That's a, I'll say that hello. I feel like hello is international. You know, and then also uh Capsum Dida, which is thank you. Um, and Uma is mom. So yeah, I've watched a shit ton of Korean stuff and I'm like, that means hello. Love that it. Means, like, How did you learn your language? Watching TV. Like, <laughs> you know, like, pretty much. Like, so that's yeah. cool. So I'm going to look into that. Korean dramas. Yeah, no, they're fucking dope. So. I got you. Yeah. Fucking great. Are you still playing instruments? Yeah, no, I still play guitar. Yeah. And stuff. Like, yeah, bass a little bit. Um, I haven't really, for the projects that I've worked on, I haven't really, like, played any of my stuff. But in terms of just jamming and noodling around, like, still playing for sure. Yeah. Still playing, singing, dancing, said, fuck social media. I'm getting billboards and doing magazine covers. <laughs> we going classic. Still. Fashionable out here, sure serving looks, serving Miss Pac Man, really doing, nice. making sure every spot's a photo shoot spot. <laughs> wow, Ash, wow, was just making it happen. Yes. You said you're going to Germany. Yeah, um, in June 12th. Let's go. Through, well, yeah, for about like a week, but starting in June 12th. Are you doing anything else? Or are you just doing Germany? Uh, no, I'm just doing the award show there and hopefully I'll be able to line up some shows before I get out there so I can also do like some live performances and shit like that. Let's go. Book some, book yeah. some houses. Yeah, like book some houses, book Book whatever. the clubs, book like, the scenes, dude. We're out there's here. a vibe trying to book it, so. It's been amazing. You're awesome. Thanks again for pulling up. It's it. good checking in with you, seeing what Thanks you've been up to. Me. Love to see you keep killing it. I and I'm sure it. I'll see you around in some event oh, yeah. sesh, backyard barbecue. Oh, yeah. And I'll be like, what? <laughs> and I'm not lying. I really saw you in a backyard, <laughs> like, like, randomly. Yeah. We're like, okay. What's up? Hey, let's smoke. <laughs> <laughs> let's, and like, you sat down and rolled up immediately, just like me. It was great. Pretty much. You know, Real smoker. <laughs> you know the vibe. <laughs> Oh, someone asked, uh, what's been one of your biggest obstacles with your music career, and what's your favorite thing about what you do? Phew. Damn, Evan's over here with the fucking... Okay. 
Um, yeah, no, the biggest obstacle has honestly being independent, the fucking funding. Like, yes. <laughs> pulling, like, you know, this shit ain't cheap, y'all. Like, so, um, pulling the money together and getting all of that stuff together and getting the backing to, like, do it and still being able to, like, have my voice and not have a record label mold me and shape me into, like, what they think I'm supposed to be and actually... Be, be you me like be all this is who i bits. am like so um yeah that's exactly all it is um so that's pretty much like the biggest obstacle um and i overcome that by working really hard and working with like dope ass people who are like we believe in you and let's make some dope shit and the money will come. <laughs> so yeah, no, I'm blessed in that way. I you're speaking speaking to the choir. I feel yeah, it. Yeah, no, I'm blessed. Yes, and your favorite thing is just making the music, having people have your mom sing your words to Pussy Power. <laughs> One of my favorite things. <laughs> Walking around the park, like, she's gonna be like when she listens because she's gonna listen to this podcast. She's gonna be mortified, but like you told them that I walk around that Pussy Power. Like yes, yes, mom, what? I did. Like, you out here? Tell her to make, know, do a like, selfie doing it, dancing. Get it, mamas. So yeah, yeah. Drink her favorite drink and get sponsored. Period. While doing it, make that shit go viral. My mom's favorite drink is ice chips. Is what? Ice chips. Ice chips? She just, is that just like shredded ice? Just ice, yeah, shredded ice. And she but just like she chews it, sips it, just, lets it melt? That's what she wants. She wants ice chips. Nothing else in it. Nothing else in it. Ice chips. That's a... Is that... Have you ever tried it? Have you like... I mean, a couple of I feel ice like chips once and... I get older, it's going to be my thing because that was my grandmom's thing when she was like, you know, around my mom's age and it was like hilarious to me and now ice it's like chips. my mom's thing. So I know that like once I get past You're like, like I'm 65, gonna end up five, I'm nice going to be like ice, ice chips, chips and nothing else, please. With the lemon slice. And they're like, do you want some water? And it's like, no, I said a glass of ice chips, please. <laughs> you don't call them ice cubes? What's ice chip? Uh, is ice chips like a different consistency? Oh, that's just me, like my Philly, South Jersey. So it's just a cup of it. ice. It's just a cup of ice. Oh, okay. It's just ice cubes, but okay. you know, Philly. So let me get a cup of ice chips, please. I- ice chips. I was like, is this like a special texture of <laughs> no, ice? Because there's it's just crushed ice. It's just where I'm pearled from. Pearled ice. No, it's ice, ice cubes. It's ice cubes, but like freezer let me get some ice. ice chips, please. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's different so, consistencies, so yeah, I don't know. No. Okay, so it's just ice in a cup. Yes, okay. ice in a cup. Damn. They, 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 they like chew it. Out. Yeah, no, just chew it down and like let it melt and shit like that. Try it, y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Try it. I, I think I'm out of water, so let me. You know. These are too big. Those are way too beautiful. These aren't ice chips. These are <laughs> Those like are ice, ice boulders. boulders. <laughs> 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 I'm about to be in a... <laughs> Yeah, I know that will be. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. I learned more. It's been great. Yes. Thanks for hanging out. Thank New music me. out. Check it out. Wow, ash, wow, all platforms. Yes. yes. What? Thanks for hanging out. Wowashwow.com. Yeah. Wowashwow on all socials. Stream the latest music legendary. And you heard the voice. Are, you heard the voice. Hear the music. Ken Chan's over there dancing on the keys. Yeah. Just pressing buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Look like I'm dancing now. Hey man, everything good with you? You finding ghosts, dude? You all here all day? Yeah. All day. You know what I'm saying? Got the whole Ghostbuster like, fit. Bust to make me feel good. That's like the yeah. best part of the song. You know what I'm saying? I got you, dude. Uh, thank you for being here again. Check, yeah. check out Kentron, his live streams, his... Get it. <laughs> he's, doing go- <laughs> he's out here. Uh, he's out here live streaming. Check him out. He's performing now at... You, where are you at? Restaurants now? Where are you performing? Oh, With man, some I, bands? Man, cover bands? Got, I got caught up in a band when we doing a gig. Where's it at? It's going to be in... Um... But you're doing gigs now. Like, yeah. What are you doing? Like hey, cover yeah. songs? Yeah, uh, this band, they, their keyboard player 
had a baby, his first kid, so. He's he dad can't, mode. He can't, yeah, he's dad mode, so they say, say, Kane, can you try? Can you help us out and play some songs with us? So I'm like, all right, I can fill in some, some gigs. So yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. And they got me singing, man, I'm over here. Man, I had a scene with lights on me, dude. At this oh, place. you had like a solo <laughs> moment? Like, not really. I had the, the people were there with me on stage, but I had to sing a little, couple of verses and stuff. What, what did they have you playing? What, what did you see? Oh, what was your moment? Dude, I did, I did, um, what you want to do for love? Oh, that's I know why, the words. Okay. That's I why you want So that's fresh in your mind right now. I got you. Yeah, that. And then I did like two other ones. I did The Girl Is Mine with somebody. Okay. And I also did, um, oh, Too Close. Get this in real close and this in real. I feel that a little song. poke coming through yeah. from you. Yeah, uh, yeah. I had to sing that part because we started Next. playing the song and then the guy who was singing, he didn't know the words, so I had the mic. So I said, turn me up. I think I know this. <laughs> so I just took over. You know what I'm saying? He said, turn me up and tap me <laughs> Baby, in, when boss. we're grinding, yeah. I get see. so excited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how I want to be played out. Baby, when we're crying, yeah. I get so excited. Oh, yeah. Girl, wow, I'm I'm like I try I'm to down it. It feels close. It feels close. Real close. You make it hard for me. Baby, go, 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 go. That's how it goes. Like so That's exactly how it is. Ooh, how I like it. Oh, yeah. Now that I can hide it. You just in this close. It's real, though. You know. You're making it hard for me. I like the things you do. I like the things you do. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so good. Hey, get it. You make it feel so that was great. That was great, Kevin. <laughs> Listen, it's been an Damn. amazing episode. The vibe's been real. Appreciate Damn. you so much coming through. Ketron, the whole crew, Eric, Adrian, Travis, y'all are amazing. Thank you guys all for pulling up. Everyone listening, y'all are shout out to uh, Apothecary for uh, getting us high. Yes, uh, all y'all listening and all the growers for growing some great weed for us to yes. smoke. We shout love the growers here. We love the growers. Uh, you already know you can find me on the socials. I got a bunch of things coming up this year, so stay tuned. Uh, I'm be in San Diego. I'm gonna be in uh, Vegas again, and I got a couple more gigs. Just you know where to find me and follow. Or you don't need to talk about me anymore, cause uh, you already know. So until next time, thank you guys. Bye. 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 Let's turn Ken up. Let's go, Ken. Let's see if I do verse. All the songs on you requested, you danced it like you're naked. Oh, it's almost like we're sexy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boo, I like it. You know I can't deny it. But I know you can tell I'm excited. Oh, girl. I don't sing that part. <laughs> <laughs> Now, girl, I know you felt it. Boy, you know I can help it. You know what I want to do. Oh, yeah. I like this part. You eat. That's part right there. <laughs> I can't fight it. Real close. You're, You're making, making it hard for me. Let me here. Let me here. Break it down. Uh. <laughs> yes. Bring it back. Bring it back. Great show. Great show. Great show. Yeah. Yeah.